Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a quad, you know, a rectangle, a square. So it's actually really simple. Make sure you've got the code from the drawing a simple triangle video. You can either get it from the GitHub page or, you know, follow along. Following along is great. If you already know what to do, you just want to literally just click recap, just get the code from there. And that produces this little triangle. You can do whatever color you want. I'm just keeping it simple. I'll be doing textures and different colors later on. But what we need to do is actually change this into four vertices. Because the way a quad works, it doesn't actually draw a square or a rectangle. It draws two triangles. Because if you think about a, a, you know, a rectangle, imagine this canvas right here, the red one. You can think of it as a rectangle or as two triangles split diagonally like that. And you would have this one and this one. From school, you'll probably remember that idea. You would get two right angled triangles. Okay, so that's what we need to do. So we need to provide the vertices. So you can change the size as much as you want. But I'm going to just do the size that I've used for testing. So negative 0.5. 0 0.5 and 0, 0.0 z axis we're just leaving it at zero for now we'll eventually get onto 3d negative 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5 and 0 0.0 0 0.5 0 .0, negative 0 0.5 and 0, 0.0 finally 0 0.5 0 0.5 and 0, 0.0 okay so the indices which are used for you know specifying which in you know vertex we are using we are going to change this to three two one three one zero this might seem a bit gobbledygook but i'll explain what all this is doing in a second everything else leave the same obviously if you have slightly different code but it works for a triangle that's fine and it's going to make sure the draw elements you're using the draw elements function and the gl triangle so every, again everything else you can leave the same because we're using it using the length of the indices array, which makes it all dynamic. If we go back, refresh, that's not right. We have an error. Because that is not what it should be showing. So let's have a look what the error is. Ooh, line 37. No comma. There we go. There we go, all fixed. <laughs> it's a little common problem. So we got this rectangle here now. So, you know, what is the purpose of this? Let me label these one, two, three, and four. So this is the first one, the second one, third one, the fourth one. Actually, let me put first, second, and third, fourth, and I'll put dash zero. Remember, most stuff in computers starts at zero and when it will end in n minus one, you know, the max minus one and dash three. Okay, so it's doing the third one first. So, well, no, number three, which is the fourth one. So, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. That is number four. So, you know, the last one. The next is doing number two. So, number two is. 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5 so we got this as index 3 index 2 and index 1 negative 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5 so there so it's 3 2 1 0 or fourth third second and first i'll stick with 3 2 1 and 0 because that's what we're using in the indices that's what it requires so 3 2 1 and 0 okay so we're using 3 2 and 1 so 3 2 and 1 that would produce this triangle. So let me actually go ahead and just get rid of these. As you can see, it produces this triangle, you know, this half of it. Now, if we go back and get rid of the first three, it produces the other triangle. So that would be three, one, and zero. So it's, so what was it, zero? So it was zero, one, Yeah, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So it's 3, 1, and 0. So the drawing mode is clockwise. So it goes clockwise like that. You can do anti-clockwise as well, something I'll be covering later on. And if we go back to it and we show all of it drawing. So this little triangle here is going clockwise like that. 
and this one is going clockwise around like that and by drawing two triangles like this we have effectively drawn a quad you might be thinking the if you just look at the vertices the distance is one in the x and the y axis you know the width and the height is a total of one so why does it look a bit sort of you know stretched you know like a rectangle and that's because this is relative to you know these are normalized coordinates which are relative to the screen size so if i did this or the canvas size i should say 480 by 480 this will be a perfect square now because this is a perfect square so if i have half of this and half of this it's always going to be square likewise if i change this to I don't know, something really wide like 1280 by 480 this would all obviously i'll have to scroll to see all of it but this would have to be all a bit more stretch that's fine if you want to you know keep it consistent especially if you want to have a canvas that can change size but you don't want your objects to distort maybe the world just gets a little smaller or you just see less of the world that's fine later on in this series i'll actually be talking about projections and all the different minutiae of you know how webgl renders graphics but that's for later on in this series for now we're just covering simple 2d drawing and that's it so if you have any questions remember there's always the github page with the source code but you know if that don't help feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.